Davido's son death. The secret they didn't tell you. In life, you have to deal with so many things, but nothing can be worse than losing a loved one, and that too, a little son. Davido's son's death took the internet by storm, but many don't know the full story. What are we missing in the story? What is it about the singer's three-year-old son that the media isn't telling you? Or did he sacrifice his child? The story out there is that the three-year-old drowned in the family pool in their home in Nigeria, but many are pondering over the fact of what really happened to the child that day. Investigations are underway. In fact, the Lagos State Police Command also brought eight domestic workers for questioning in connection with the death of Ifiani Adelik. What is it about the story that isn't making sense? And is it really an accident? Well, let's find out. Hey folks, hello and welcome back to our YouTube channel. In this video, we bring you the real story behind the tragic death of singer Davido's three-year-old son. Though police and investigation agencies have been trying to link the nods of the accident, they haven't yet reached a conclusion. And in fact, there are many details that are still to be disclosed. So, if you've been following the case or are a big fan who wants to keep an eye on David O's life, here's your chance to know the little details. Just make sure to stick through the end of the video and find out everything there is to know about the case. While you're at it, please take a moment to subscribe and hit the bell icon to stay updated with the latest videos from our channel. With that being said, let us get started. First thing is first, before we begin with the case, let us get some insight into the singer's life and his son. David Adediji Adelik was born on 21st November 1992. He is more popularly known by his stage name, Davido. He is one of the most successful, biggest, and most influential African artists of all time. So much so that he is currently the most followed African artist on Instagram and Twitter. He was born into a well-off family. His father is a business magnate and his mother, Vero Adelik, was a university lecturer. He is the youngest of five siblings and his father's second-born son. He attended the British International School of Lagos at the age of 16 and then moved back to the United States to study business administration at Oakwood University in Alabama. Ifiani's mother was born on the 1st of May, 1995. She is an excellent Nigerian chef, model, online media star, and business visionary. She spent most of her life in Oweri, the capital of Imo State, her state of origin. For her early education, she went to government-funded schools in Oweri, where she finished her rudimentary, center, and secondary school instruction and then went to Babcock University for higher studies. It's here that she met Ifiani's father. They had met through Davido's friend, who was also dating Kioma's friend. The pair soon clicked and started dating. Started dating in 2015, as per HITC. However, their relationship came under public attention only around 2017, and was confirmed in 2018. In the course of the relationship, Kioma dropped out of the university, but the two still kept their relationship. Later, David also left the university to pursue his career in the music industry. David has produced and collaborated on some massive hits, including ones with Nicki Minaj, Holy Ground, Chris Brown, Blow My Mind, and Meek Mill, Fans Me. Being one of the most popular African musicians, it was no surprise that Davido and Kioma became one of the most commonly followed celebrity couples. Each and every move of theirs would become a headline. The couple got engaged in September 2019, and together they gave birth to their son, who was named David Ifiani Adelecki Jr. Born to celebrities, Ifiani was a born celebrity, and his parents too left no stone unturned for him making him famous, be it his Instagram profile or other social media handles. Until his tragic death, his net worth was about 900,000 US dollars, which is about N630 million in Naira. One other thing that made the child famous was the fortune that he inherited from his businessman grandfather, who was the CEO of Pacific Holdings and the president of Adelecki University. Ifiani was born on the 20th of October 2019 and said goodbye to the world a week after his third birthday. Even before his birth, he was one of the most anticipated babies, and social media was all praise when he was born. According to reports, Ifiani drowned in the family pool and was first noticed by the cleaning staff. 
A source from the Davido family told the media that he was in the water for such a long time that the concerned staff got apprehensive and ultimately started asking him to come out. But when he didn't respond, they pulled him out and were taken aback by his condition. He wasn't conscious, so they rushed him to the hospital, but unfortunately, it was too late. One of the attendees also called the police. According to the police representative, Benjamin Hundan, who told the media that one of the couple's domestic staff called the police at 10 p.m. local time, or 9 p.m. GMT on Monday. We are reviewing the CCTV cameras to get additional information about the circumstances of his death. His body has been deposited in the morgue. We are in touch with his parents. In fact, they were with us last night, the police added later. David and his wife, Kioma Rowland, were not at home at the time of the incident. As the news spread and the fans got their ear on it, they were absolutely traumatized and outraged by the accident. Many even called out the attendants for not paying attention to the child. A number of celebrities also expressed their grief on the incident. They have come out to share condolences, and the singer is reported to have also received numerous personal messages from many celebrities paying their tributes to his departed son. Many also took to social media to share their grief and also finally confirm the sad news. Comedian AY in an Instagram post wrote, The death of a child is unnatural, unfair, and tragic. This hit me so bad. Daddy Freeze, who went live on Instagram in the early hours of the next morning when a tragic accident took place, said, when the person you love is someone involved, it becomes a heavy emotional burden. I'm not confirming anything, but bear with me. I will not be live tonight. In addition, reality TV star and actress Rosemary Offawape also took to her Instagram story and said, My heart can't take this. This is so painfully unbearable. Kioma and Davido, please accept my condolences. No amount of words can comfort your hearts. I am truly sorry for your loss. The parents, however, did not make any claims about the happening. Nevertheless, what many considered the first public reaction was that David removed the pinned posts on his Instagram page. One of the posts included a flyer for his Away Festival, which was scheduled to happen around the time and aimed at bringing other musicians to perform with David O, indicating that he might be canceling or postponing the festival. The case, however, is still under suspicion. In a concluding statement, the police said, If after they all give their own accounts of what happened after the preliminary investigations, any one of them is found culpable, the person will now be placed under arrest. The incident is surely one to mourn over. But that did not stop David O from performing at the closing ceremony of the World Cup, where he made history as the first African act to grace the highly coveted event. As the saying goes, life goes on. We hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell icon. This will only take a microsecond, but will significantly boost the YouTube algorithm, propelling our videos to the top. See you in the following video.